<laughs> you come to say hello. Have you come to say hello, Martha? Hi, girls. <laughs> Good morning. A very quick hello for me. It's Tuesday and on Tuesday mornings uh, over the last few months I go to a ballet fitness lesson. Uh, it's very much ballet based. I have no natural rhythm or ability <laughs> but I enjoy it. I have no idea why. It should be humiliating but uh, off I go. It's a, it's a little bit of a drive. It's a half hour drive from where I live it's the only one I could find anywhere near locally. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm off to do. Some of the drive is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I know you see my drive to work a lot with the narrow roads, but uh, this is something else. So I'm gonna put my GoPro on and show you what the roads look like. All right, let's go. See the family resemblance. Yeah. This is my mum when she was. Uh, there's no date on it. Um, uh, you no. look about nine though. Yeah, it would, nine I would probably. Yeah. This is also my mum. That would have been in the fifties, would it? Sixties. This one. Yeah, that was me. I think I would. Oh, oh September nineteen sixty one. Yeah, so it's been about 11 or 12. Here she is in October 2024. <laughs> if I'd known you were coming. <laughs> I've <laughs> stopped by to drop off one of her dishes and Tupperware yeah. and she's going to make but, me a cup of tea. Yeah, this is young me. Really this is, my mum was a lab tech at a school. I remember these people sort of saying yeah. hello to me. But that's my mum. That's Pam. I recognise Beth. Her, and I recognise her. She was Norma. funny. Yeah. Norma. Norma, that yes. was it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Norma. Yeah, and that was the head of department, and that was the teacher. He was a bell teacher that I was a lab tech to. Oh, there's, well, there's your dad. And that was in the paper, yeah. our graduation. <laughs> Showing a bit of leg at graduation yeah, well, there, Well, there's still minis there. Mini skirt. Yeah. And these. <laughs> Go on. I know these are... My grand, some my grandmother was one of 12, and these are some of her sisters in the 20s. Look oh, at the wow. fashions. Yeah. I don't know which sisters. Astounding. Yeah. Well, that's you as well. Yes, yes. When I, I think my first year out there. When I can't and that one. Oh, that's me with my aunt, aunt, my mum's old middle sister, my auntie Lil. Ah, so she's a Lilia. This is know, one so. of the li so Lilia, our eldest daughter, is named for all the Liliuses in our family. We just took the S off. Yeah. <laughs> it's Lilia rather than Lilius. Yeah, that's my mum. There's my like granny. Mom and her, the same sister that's walking there. Yeah. Me. So that's Lilius. Mama, my granny. Yep. Yeah. Right, mm. tea. Tea. And maybe a biscuit. I think I might have a biscuit. <laughs> I said hello and you meowed. Made it look like I was meowing. It's about quarter past three. Phoebe will be on her way home from school any second. Um, I came home. I've done a load of chores, laundry, sorting, tidying, household stuff. And I've had a little bit of lunch. And I'm about to do maybe some ironing as well. 
But I thought I'd just open up the early Halloween decorations box. So this is all the stuff that's not sort of over the top Halloween. Um, we always decorate our house for trick or treaters. Thank you, Mia. For that one. Yeah, so we always decorate the house for trick or treaters, but I also have some sort of more tasteful decorations that I like to put out at this time of year. Oh my goodness, I forgot I bought this last year. Oh my goodness, oh, I bought this last year so I could have seasonal Vlogtober hot drinks. Oh, I'm gonna get that washed. Is it dishwasher safe? Dishwasher safe, so let's get that in the dishwasher and then I can have my cup of tea out of that tomorrow morning. I've got my little mushroom decoration that I'm going to hang on the wood burner. Perfect for this time of year. I'm not going to show you everything because you'll see it when it goes out, but I've got a few little favourite things. I can't remember where I got these, but I've got little sort of raffia pumpkins that will go on the wood burner as well. This my mum bought from a shop called Pastimes. Do you remember Pastimes? Oh, was it Pastimes? That was a chain. No, it wasn't. It was a it was a shop called Country Charm in Bexley Heath. Um, oh, it was wonderful that shop. I'm not sure if it was a chain, but um, it went out of business years ago. But we loved that shop. I think it, that's where it was from. Doesn't say. But yeah, my mum bought this years ago, and she gave it to me um, a few years ago when she moved into her bungalow because she couldn't see herself using it there. So I like to put this one up because. Uh, I just, it's nice. It's seasonal without being gaudy. Put that up. What else have we got? I've got my hand knitted and hand crocheted um, pumpkins here as well. I might save those. Oh, and this I got a couple of years ago. Very posh. It's my Waitrose pumpkin. Oh, I, I, probably, I usually take the battery, yeah, I have done. I'm so, I'm so organised, look at that. I take the batteries out in case they go funny. There we go. That's my little light up pumpkin. If the camera's wobbling, because somebody's trying to sit on it. Furry butt coming through. Oh, you've seen the box. She's seen the box. She's going to want to get in the box, aren't you? She's in the box. Ridiculous animal. Oh, yeah, you won't see this very well at the moment. Oh, and I've just turned it off, apparently. Yeah. But I will put that over there and you'll probably see it later. Well, now I've got a cat in the box. Uh, is there anything else I want to show you in here? Oh, my witch's feet. That's it. I made these years ago as well, just out of air drying clay. I think I said last year I'd do a tutorial on it and then never did. But I like these as well, my little Wicked Witch of the West feet. I just put these on my mantelpiece. <laughs> yeah, I love those. Yeah, so I might do a little bit of Halloweening up. But I'm going to have to move you out of that box. I've just hoovered everywhere you've been going about spreading your fluff. food to the kitchen because the cat won't leave me alone and it's really sunny in the front room so wherever I s sort of sat it was really overexposed. I've had some post and it's something I was expecting but it doesn't feel right. So I was like there's more in here than there should be. Okay 
I'm going to have to message my friend Suzanne. <laughs> it's happened again, Suzanne. You've sent me something I shouldn't have. This is my advent from Green Lump Kinyon. So I purchase it every month throughout the year and every month I get three of the minis that will make up my advent. So this is num... Oh, is this... No. Yeah, okay, so this is 19, 20 and 21. So next month's will be the last and I'll have all 24 ready to go for the 1st of December. So I've got all of my advent... Uh, wrapped up advent minis in a festive project bag upstairs so that's where they will go now and I've also got my secret treasure box of blanket club minis now if you are a member of the uh, secret treasure box blanket club these will be the September minis so if you have not got yours I'm going to open mine now I will keep talking and I will tell you when I'm about to hold them up and then I will tell you when they're not on the screen anymore so that you don't get any spoilers. Oh my word. Oh, I adore these. So you get four minis uh, and they're all in DK. Right, I'm going to hold them up now. So if you haven't got yours yet and you don't want a spoiler, look away now until I tell you to look back. love them so much right they're off the screen i'm putting them back in the bag it is safe to look i will work on those in a few days i am making hexagons to make a weekend a blanket uh, which is a pattern by sandra of cherry Park. my back is hurting and i'm feeling a bit achy i think i might sorry i'll stop rustling i think i might have a little bit of post vaccination-ness. Uh, Phoebe's just called to say she's going to her friend's house so they're getting the bus. It's about 20 to 4 which means I'm on my own for at least the next hour and a half. I've got ironing to do. I might put on my audio book and do that or I might make a cup of tea, get into bed and read my book or I might sit on the sofa with the cat watch some vlogtobers and do a bit of knitting or crochet or cross stitch or I might just stay sitting here on the floor staring at nothing The vlog is going to end here because oh, I, was cook I cooked the most delicious chilli. I just used a recipe that I've used a few times before from the BBC Good Food website for a, a, just a simple chilli. But I didn't have enough mint so I kept all the other ingredients the same and just um, chopped up finally a medium courgette to replace the rest of the mint. It worked great. I'll put in some extra chopped tomatoes as well, freshly chopped tomatoes. And we didn't have paprika, so I just used smoked paprika. And we didn't have marjoram, so I used coriander leaf. Yeah, came out great. Oh, and we didn't have hot chilli powder, so I put in mild chilli powder and a sprinkle of um, dried chillies. And it was just delicious. However, just before I finished cooking, I went, down, went through to the living room, sat on the sofa to just do the notes and the links in the description for my vlog for day seven, which was yesterday. Yes, I was doing that. And then I went to get up because the time I went and honestly, the pain that shot through my back, I've never known anything like it. I couldn't move. It just felt like something had crunched in my back. Oh my goodness. So I'm pretty sure looking back at what we did at ballet this morning that I have uh, pulled or done something untoward to my piriformis. Uh, so I did a couple of piriformis stretches which felt amazing, which considering I didn't think I'd ever be able to stand up again, it was obviously the, the key to it was um, that's what I've done. I've done it before. 
Uh, I must have overextended. I know exactly the exercise we were doing when I did it, <sighs> but never mind. So I've got um, a hot water bottle on my back and I've rubbed in some Voltarol, taken some painkillers and I've done some stretches, which I shall do every day now until it's better. And um, I'm gonna keep moving around. I'm not gonna stay sitting in one place um, for too long. So that's it. I'm gonna sit here at the table for 10 minutes. I've got my laptop, I've got my earphones. I'm gonna watch something. I'm going to work on my crochet cow. And then I'm gonna move about and eventually make it upstairs getting ready to blow my nose to read my book and hopefully have an all right night's sleep despite having two aching arms cramps and <laughs> a sore back <laughs> i'll see you tomorrow if i survive the night <laughs>